Before you continue, please hear what I have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some bad news I would like to share with you. It's been a couple of months since the first episode of the Ultimate Wild Nick Beard Quiz aired, and it's been a huge, huge blast. The channel jumped from somewhere around 150 subscribers to almost 3,000. A couple of people went over to watch me stream on Twitch, and all of it has been great fun. However, all good things eventually come to an end. You see, due to some unfortunate personal reasons, this quiz will be the last. It's really difficult to say it, but that's the way it is. Hopefully, this won't come as a shock to most of you, and you will be able to accept that my real-life responsibilities are number one. So, yeah, what happened was that I said some words which people took a bit more seriously than I wanted them to. What can I say? I, I screwed up. I, I thought... I thought... I thought it was the 1st of April, but it wasn't, so everything I've just said is not true, but I said it, and I seriously wish I could see the look on your face. <laughs> oh my god. Here's the reality. The Ultimate Wild Nick Beard Quiz, as you know it, will be getting some extra spice in the near future. In other words, we're going to be temporarily shifting away from the current format of general WoW knowledge and create themed episodes, starting off with an Alliance themed episode, followed by the Horde version. Later on you can look forward to class themed quizzes. Ha, <laughs> can't wait to see how you are gonna progress on those. So why am I doing this? You see, variety is the spice of life, and I can't live without it. And I don't want you to get bored of seeing the same thing over and over. Furthermore, I'll be trying my hand at creating new types of videos, once focusing on the analysis and the critique of World of Warcraft's lore, because it's one of the main reasons why I played this game to begin with. As a matter of fact, there is one on my channel right now, so make sure you go check it out and tell me what you think. Some people crave Twitch Prime, I crave criticism and feedback. Though I wouldn't mind an extra bug here and there if you get my meaning. Alright, enough talk. No fancy intro today. Instead, I will let you dive in straight into the quiz. Find the link to start the game in the video description below, or watch the rest of the video to learn how the game is played and what are the rules. Enjoy! There are two ways you can play this game now. The standard mode, which is how you're used to playing this quiz. If you don't know how, this video contains a tutorial. And then there's studio mode. Seeing as several streamers decided to play the quiz live, this mode was created to help enhance the experience a little bit. You might wonder how, by introducing the two original missing lifelines. Phone a friend and ask the audience. I guess the more appropriate term in this context would be ask the chat. Phone a friend works like this. For one question, you can ask a friend to help you out. Whether it's a pal on Discord or someone you know from the chat, it's your choice. Originally, there is a 30 second time limit to this, but I personally think that will be too much to handle or deal with, so you can skip the time limit. Ask the chat is easy. For one question, simply create a straw poll with a set time limit, say 10 or 20 seconds, with the chat being able to vote either answer A, B, C or D. Chances are that your viewers might deliberately vote for the wrong answer to screw you over, but I thought the idea was interesting nonetheless because it allows the chat another way of interaction. I've also updated the achievement list for studio mode specifically. Pause the video to check it out if you want. After this, I'm going to play the rest of the video which includes the tutorial and the achievement list for standard mode. Cheers! If you have already played this game before, then look for a link in the video description below to start the game immediately. At the end of the video, you will find an achievement list. But if you have never played this game before, then I encourage you to stay so that I may explain the rules. I'm going to play the same footage which you can find in every intro video to this game, which will help explain you how the game works. So this is the final answer heard all around the world. 
He's won a million dollars! The game I've prepared for you is basically just like it, with a few minor tweaks to make up for the lack of real-time action between you, the player, and me, supposedly the host. The game challenges you with a series of multiple choice questions. In total, there are 15 questions. You start from the very bottom and attempt to climb to the very top. Just like in WoW, each question is marked with a level. As your level increases, so does the difficulty of the questions before you. The first five questions are designed to serve as a warp up. They are designed to be so easy that even a moderate casual player should know the answer. The questions that come after start to go deeper into less known truths. Question 5 and 10 are marked with a white color. These are called checkpoints. After reaching the fifth checkpoint, every subsequent question will have a 50-50 lifeline option available. What this means is that for questions between 6 and 15, you can eliminate two incorrect answers, leaving you with the correct answer and one incorrect answer. But what if you answer a question wrong? Listen, here is where it gets interesting. According to the rules, failing one question immediately results in game over. That's right, we don't want this to be too easy. If you fail, you drop all the way to the bottom. However, if there is a checkpoint in the way, you drop down to the nearest checkpoint beneath you instead, and that checkpoint's level will ultimately be yours. Here are the rules of the game. 1. One incorrect answer instantly results in game over. 2. No cheating. No help from friends, Wowpedia, or anything else that is in your brain. 3. Don't mute the videos. They're narrated. Mostly cheesily, but that won't be a valid excuse if you lose. Now, unfortunately, I cannot control whether or not you will follow the rules. This game is just for fun anyway, but I encourage you to do so either way. If you cheat, sure but you're gonna cheat yourself. Now, if you feel like proving that you are not a total pushover, here are the few achievement goals I've been talking about before, which you can set for yourself. Pause the video to check them out and let me know in the comments of this video how far you've gotten. All right, and that's it. Check the video description below, there you will find a link to start the game.